that this is a product that is better in every way from a feature standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks. Tesla describes the semi as a beast, more powerful, more efficient, and fully electric. Semi is the future of trucking. Soon, these technological masterpieces will be seen on highways around the world. Although Elon Musk has equipped them with a series of super powerful features that no other truck can match, they are super hush-hush about anything semi-related. Get it? And we won't know everything about this car until it is delivered. So what exactly are these top secret features for the Tesla Semi? Let's find out in today's special two-in-one episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Musk tweeted that Tesla has started production of the Semi and plans to commence its deliveries on December 1st of 2022 with PepsiCo as its first customer. It plans to start with the 500-mile variant. The cheaper 300-mile variant could follow when production ramps up in 2023. With that said, let's first take a look at the Tesla Semi's VIN information. Tesla is one step closer to finally starting deliveries of their electric semi-truck as the automaker has officially submitted the required VIN or VIN, otherwise known as the Vehicle Identification Number, information to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Tesla's model year 2023 VIN decoder suggests that CEO Elon Musk's recent Tesla Semi estimates are correct, in which deliveries of the Class 8 all-electric truck are indeed coming. As can be seen in this document, the Tesla Semi VIN or VIN will have 17 digits, the first three being 7G2. For comparison, Tesla's previous models, such as the Model S-X and Model 3-Y, were listed with VINs that begin with 5YJ and 7SA. Another difference with the Semi VIN compared to Tesla's other vehicles is digit 5, which is used to designate the body type for the Model S, 3X, and Y. In the case of the Tesla Semi, this digit is used for the chassis slash cab type, which was given the letter B for a day cab. This hints at a future version that will have a sleeper cab for long-haul truckers. For now, the Semi will be used for short-haul trips at two PepsiCo facilities in California. What's also notable is the VIN's eighth digit, which refers to the truck's drive unit and braking system. The Semi is listed with B, which means dual drive rear axle and air brakes, in the MY 2023 VIN decoder. Next up, where is the Tesla Semi going to be produced? In the past, the facility location where the electric automaker intended to build the Class A truck was extremely mysterious, even to its own employees, especially the ones who work at Gigafactory 1 in Sparks, Nevada, near Reno. Tesla workers involved in producing various products in the main Gigafactory 1 building cannot access this facility because the semi-project is so elusive and top secret that it has been kept extremely under wraps by the company, even for its own employees. Tesla has been barely limited in details regarding the manufacturing of the semi, with production now imminent, details are beginning to surface. For the first time, a Tesla vehicle built in the United States will not have either an F, Fremont, or an A, Austin, as the plant of manufacturing in the 11th digit. Instead, the Tesla Semi will have an N in its VIN to designate that it will be built in Reno, Giga Nevada, where Gigafactory 1 and the mysterious Semi building are located. Aerial footage of the Reno, Nevada facility suggests that the semi may only begin initial production on site, but as the vehicle ramps up to meaningful volumes, Tesla may move production of the semi to a more robust facility such as Giga Texas. And to top off the top three most important things you need to know, here's number three, the price. Initially, when Tesla planned to offer the semi with a quad motor powertrain, it expected 150,000 for the 300 mile version and 180,000 for the 500 mile version to be the base price. The company hasn't revealed the Semi Tri Motors prices, but they could be slightly lower, estimated at around 140 dollars to $160,000. 
For comparison, rivals of the Tesla Semi include the Freightliner EM2, Volvo VNR Electric, Kenworth T680E, and Peterbilt 579EV. The Freightliner costs $400,000, nearly three times more expensive than the Tesla Semi. The Volvo is priced at $140,000. Tesla says that the diesel trucks are 20% more expensive in terms of operational costs. The Tesla Semi costs $1.26 per mile, while an average diesel truck costs $1.51 per mile. The point the company is trying to make here is that the electric truck's high initial price can be recovered by low operational costs and minimal maintenance costs. Thus, the payback time for the Semi is about two years. And according to a report, Tesla could offer the Semi with our number four of the list, an automatic tire inflation system. Although ATIS is not new technology, the Tesla can enhance it to a new level, which substantially reduces contamination in the airstream. This technology could automatically revise the tire pressure and keep it at the optimal level. As the airstream is purer, the ATIS's life increases, and it requires maintenance less frequently. Circulating with the correct tire pressure is essential in the operation of commercial fleets, since it is a characteristic that directly affects efficiency. In the case of internal combustion engine vehicles, it could mean an important increase in fuel costs. According to the North American Council for Charging Efficiency, fuel consumption increases from half a percent to one percent when the tires are running deflated at 0.7. On the other hand, properly inflated tires in turn reduce punctures and other wheel-related breakdowns. The system basically monitors the inflation pressure in real time, so that when a threshold target value is reached, pressurized air is blown in order to compensate. Moving on to number five, we've got to talk about the supposed thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. Musk said the ludicrously overpowered resilience of the windows was his favorite feature, joking that it survives a nuclear explosion or you get a full refund. The Tesla Semi's design was made to mitigate the challenges faced by diesel-driven semis. The large glass area on the Tesla Semi is no ordinary kit. It's what Tesla calls thermonuclear explosion-proof glass, offered as standard. According to the CEO, truck glasses are enormous and they break once a year on average. If the glass breaks, drivers cannot use the truck because of apparent safety and visibility concerns, resulting in revenue loss and inconvenience to customers. Tesla's thermonuclear explosion-proof glass would eliminate these issues. But of course, we couldn't just mention the glass and not talk about the overall design of the Tesla Semi at number six. The Tesla Semi has the most beautiful design that we've ever seen on a truck, with a stunning front fascia and a clean, uncluttered cab construction, which add a unique identity to the electric truck. With its design, the Semi unarguably looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film. One of the first things you'll probably look at is the front end, which, unlike the traditional gas-powered trucks, that have massive grills to maximize airflow to the robust engines, has a blanked off nose with a pointy shape that maximizes airflow around the truck. Under the nose is a small and uniquely designed air intake that lets air in to cool the high capacity battery, which is positioned in the center of the front and rear axles. Complementing the semi's unique and attractive exterior is an equally graceful cabin. Unlike other trucks, the semi's driver's seat is positioned in the center of the cabin, which, according to Tesla, gives the driver maximum visibility out of the windshield. There are two massive touchscreens on two extreme ends of the dashboard as well. Thanks to Tesla's mobile application, there will also be a full suite of remotely controlled features. Owners will be able to access remote diagnostics, location tracking, and communication for dispatch. There's the predictive maintenance feature also, where the system analyzes the health of the truck and alerts the owner when it's time for a service. Fleet owners can also access this extensive data without any hassle. But of course, another area where the Tesla Semi will break significant ground is safety. And that's what we're here to talk about at number seven. The Tesla Semi is slated to feature the brand's enhanced autopilot suite of features as standard. 
The range of safety features include automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and automatic lane keeping assist. If the Tesla Semi senses no driver input, it will stay in the lane, come to a slow and gradual halt, and automatically dial an emergency number. There is an enhanced traction control system on the Tesla Semi to prevent jackknifing. Jackknifing refers to an unusual folding of high articulated vehicles like trailers because of uncontrolled inertia. It occurs when the heavy trailers cause the truck to contort to awkward angles, often causing accidents. Tesla's engineers have incorporated an advanced traction control system where jackknifing is wholly avoided. Additionally, the Tesla Semi's drivetrain is guaranteed to last 1 million miles. Even if two or all four motors break down, the Tesla Semi can still function and beat a diesel truck in acceleration and range. What's more, Musk claimed that the Semi would require no brake pad changes ever. Brake Energy Regeneration, which recovers kinetic energy and stores it in an electrical form in the battery, naturally slows the vehicle down. Speaking of battery, that brings us to number eight, the power. Because it has four independent motors, you can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going. In fact, even if you only have two of the four motors active. Tesla had planned to launch the semi with four IPM SYN-RM motors that operate independently to power its rear wheels. However, sometime back in August of 2022, a revision on the official website indicated that Tesla would offer a tri-motor powertrain at launch, and the originally announced quad-motor powertrain is an option at a later stage. The Semi will have the same motors as the Model 3 as a way for the company to maximize production efficiency, all the while maintaining higher gross margins, each producing 258 horsepower. In total, we see over 774 horsepower, with the Semi's powertrain producing four-digit torque figures or about 1,089 pounds per foot. I think it'll blow yours, starting with performance. Once the driver hits the accelerator pedal, the Semi gains speed quicker than most of us would expect from a Class 8 Semi truck with a trailer. Musk revealed that it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. Though, if it's fully loaded to its max weight capacity of 80,000 pounds, it can hit that speed in about 20 seconds. To put that into context, most diesel trucks can accelerate 0 to 60 in 15 seconds. In fact, the Tesla Semi's acceleration speed is akin to that of the Volvo Iron Knight, which can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds, and was named the world's fastest commercial diesel truck back in 2016. Also note that the Tesla Semi can maintain 65 miles per hour uphill on a 5% incline. Its incredible speed can be attributed to its aerodynamics and electric motors. Elon Musk explained, we designed the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. The drag coefficient or wind resistance of a regular diesel truck is around 0.65 to 0.70. The Tesla Semi scores a 0.36, cutting the regular diesel truck drag in half and even beating the Bugatti Chiron, which stands at 0.38. The sleek nose and flat bottom are accompanied by side flaps that adjust to the trailer. These features help cut the drag and increase the range. But of course, all that power has to come from somewhere. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about next. At number nine, the battery. Tesla will source 4680 cells for the semi from Panasonic Corporation. Although Tesla hasn't revealed the exact size of the batteries in the Tesla Semi, they have released enough information for us to accurately assess its size. That the Semi will achieve an efficiency of less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile. Tesla also said that the Semi will have a range of approximately 3 to 500 miles. Doing simple maths, just using these two bits of information, we can speculate that the Semi will be available in two versions. A long range model that will have approximately 1000 kilowatt hours, or one megawatt hour battery and a standard version with a 600 kilowatt hour battery weighing at about 8,000 pounds. For comparison, a 2022 Model S contains a 100 kilowatt hour battery. So the Tesla Semi will have a significantly larger battery at six to 10 times the size of its little brother. Having a larger battery will also allow the Semi to charge faster than Tesla's current models since the current can be spread across more batteries. And it's funny that I should mention charge because that's number 10, 
the Mega Chargers. The Tesla Semi's massive battery pack will necessitate more charging time and faster charging speeds. However, Tesla has the solution, Mega Chargers. First off, this is an entirely different connection port than what Tesla uses on their production cars. It is much bigger, with two wide multi-pin connectors side by side and a row of three smaller round connectors. And the cable that it's attached to is quite the beast. This is a liquid-cooled charging cable with a woven insulation layer. Will flow into the giant electrical socket and pull heat away from the charging port allowing the charger to maintain its maximum output for a longer period of time. There are liquid-cooled charging connectors that would pave the way for a fast and efficient charging mechanism. The Mega Chargers will power up a semi that is empty to 70% in just half an hour. That time is vital to note because in most jurisdictions, drivers must stop every six hours for a half-hour break. The company says that the semi will have added 400 miles in just that half hour, which can last another six. Additionally, these chargers will be at destinations that would allow drivers to charge the semi while it is being loaded or unloaded. The Tesla Semi is a groundbreaking electric semi truck that could make trucking significantly easier, more comfortable, and safer than traditional semi trucks currently on the market, including the ones converted from diesel to electric. It should be considerably cheaper to run and maintain as well. And as a bonus, in the words of Elon Musk, the Texas-built zero-emission semi-truck will be super fun to drive. How do you feel about the Tesla Semi's features? Do you have any interesting information about the truck you want to share? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's action-packed episode two-parter. We sincerely thank you for watching today's video and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.